So you know, you do the whole, whatever they tell you. Do this. Wrap <laughs> it on the third finger. Yep. What do you do? I don't know. I do whatever. <laughs> so basically, I fulcrum with my fourth finger somewhere. Yeah. Right? And then I hold it like this. Mm. Ah. See? You see how much more secure it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I could even retract it if I needed so that it doesn't cut the lip. Go in there. Squeegee. Go to the other side. Squeegee. Uh huh. But I have full range of motion based on. Oh, I the like fulcrum. that. Yeah. Okay, like this. In there. Squeegee as best as you can. And squeegee the other side. Okay. Like that. Because a lot of people just don't read it. Yeah. What about, what about, yeah, the posteriors? Well, okay. pretty much the same deal. Okay. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna actually, I literally retract with this. So, like that. So I still fulcrum on the molar. Mm. Okay. I use my thumb actually. That's how I, I kind of train myself to do it. Mm hmm. I take it out, but it's still there's a fulcrum somewhere. Yeah, you see. Okay. And then on the mandible, it's a little bit different. Well, I can't do it on that tooth. So what I end up doing is I actually fulcrum on like the vestibule here. Yeah. And then, for example, go in like this. Okay. Like that. Hmm. Okay. So you got a lot more control using this. I mean, you know, whatever they tell you, like with the two fingers, yeah. it's fine and all, but. As you're, you will figure out a way to do it much quicker, really. Right. But fulcruming is the key to this technique. Yeah. So that you'll be able to understand how to do it without hurting the patient. Because if you're going to jam it in, the you know, it's going to hurt. Okay.